For me, it started with the families and realizing just, you know, how intensive an experience it was for these families to lose their children. And I spent two or three days with each of the families. And that kind of set the tone. It helped because it made us a lot more comfortable. He's not only going to do it right, but he knows why he's doing it and what his vision is. A lot of moving parts. It's a true story of Operation Red Wings and four people basically against the odds trying to survive. For me, it was capturing the humanity of these guys. These are guys that talk about their frustrations with their wives painting their kitchens, rose honeydew, and goof around. But when they're operating, if something goes wrong and you get hurt, I will literally die before I let something happen to you. Michael was just a natural born leader. He had a wonderful sense of humor. He made me laugh. <laughs> If I shave his head, I got to focus on his face. Face, ears, oddly shaped head. He could be the biggest tease. <laughs> and he was just really funny. There we go. Mike Murphy would stand up for people who were being bullied. And that was something that then translated to him being beloved as an officer. You're Mike Murphy. You are Mike Murphy. You're Mike Murphy. You're Mike Murphy. You're Mike Murphy. He was a strong leader, but he was not beyond asking, what do you think? He valued his colleagues and his friends, but he would make the decision. This is what we're going to do. We're going to cut them loose, and we're going home. I just sensed that Taylor would get it. Taylor really cares a lot. He also reached out to the Murphy family, to Dan Murphy in particular. You could tell in his questioning, he wanted more of what made Mike tick. He was selfless. I mean, obviously, his actions speak louder than anything he's ever said. And I think he was that type of leader, you know? He just loved his guys. Never out of the fight. I thought Taylor's portrayal of Michael was uncanny. It was like looking at Michael. Marcus, move! If I told somebody about the story and told them about my teammates, the memory of my teammates never really dies. It's got to be very difficult for Marcus to keep telling that story. I just think, thank God he survived. Because no one because would know. Because if he hadn't survived, all you would know was that four Navy SEALs went missing. The fact that he survived and told the story is why Matthew and Danny and Marcus got the Navy Cross and why Mike Murphy got the Medal of Honor. They dedicated the Patchogue Town Post Office in Michael's memory. They named the park at the lake after him. After Michael had received the Medal of Honor, the Secretary of the Navy made the announcement that they were going to dedicate a naval warship to the USS Michael Murphy. The fact that he's got a Congressional Medal of Honor and now a destroyer named after him speaks to the character that this guy possessed. He flat out sacrificed his life to make that phone call and knew he was going to die. He did die, but he made that phone call. And I think that speaks for itself.